last year, myself and four others who serve wedding pros put together the wedding pro survey, which asked a whole bunch of different questions for wedding pros. So that could be photographers, um, event planners, florists from across the nation, different stuff within their business, their finances, how they run their business, marketing, where they put their money. Over 1100 wedding pros from across the U S took this survey. And after scouring through all of the different answers, I wanted to pass along my biggest takeaways to you. So let's go ahead and get into what I learned from 1100 plus wedding pros taking this survey. The first is that you have to raise your prices and demand what you're worth. Whenever we are going through these wedding pro surveys, I found that a lot of people tend to hold on to their money, no matter if they make $10,000 a year or $100,000 a year. I will tell you in 2020, three of my best investments of the year were all in other people. So I hired on an accountant that looks at my finances monthly. I hired on a workflow specialist who helps with our um, client experience. And those were some of my best investments. And so if you are having trouble knowing how to price yourself or knowing what to price your services or anything like that, definitely look into hiring an accountant, hiring a business coach, hiring somebody to help with marketing. Whatever that is, wherever your blind spot is and that's just not your forte, take the leap, hire somebody because your business will only grow because of it. All right, number two is to grow your confidence. So we asked specifically inside the Wedding Pro survey, what marketing are you most confident in? I cannot tell you how many people said nothing. That was their response. And I will tell you right now that if you want to run a hundred thousand dollar business, a half million dollar business, a, a million dollar business, whatever it may be, you have to start acting like that type of business owner right now. And that starts with having confidence. So number two is have confidence in yourself. I know that we are our own biggest critic, but confidence starts from within and exudes outwardly. And then number three, and this is going to sound a little biased, but you have to invest in marketing. I don't know the, the exact number off the top of my head, but an overwhelming amount of people when asked how much they spend on their marketing a year, said less than $100. Marketing can look different for everybody. You could be investing in SEO services. You could be investing in your brand and website. You could be investing in advertising in, in print, whatever that may be. I hear this a lot within wedding pros and they want to get outside from their friends and family circle. They want to grow upon referrals and reach people that they haven't heard of yet. The best way to do that is to start marketing in other places. You cannot rely on word of mouth referrals, especially if you want to grow your business. This goes back to hiring an accountant. You will know exactly how much you have each month or each year for your marketing budget and where to allocate those dollars. I will add in whenever it comes to marketing, keep track of the results that you are receiving. If you do not have this on your contact form or somewhere within your client experience asking, where did you find me? And then go ahead and you want to add that in to either your contact form or an onboarding form. Ask people, how did you find my business? So that way you know what marketing dollars are working for you to bring in referrals. All right, those are my top three biggest takeaways from looking at over 1100 wedding pros from across the US. All right, so if you want to stick around, there's some other videos. We talked about your website in here. So if you wanna take a look at your website and get it into a high converting machine that is working for you, you're gonna to wanna to watch the video below to get started with that.